Thank y'all for stopping by Swamp Happy Outdoors. Today I'm going to go over me painting my 6.5 Grendel. Um, as all y'all know, if you've watched the channel before, um, I built this thing, and you know, before I even built it, I thought about how it looked like painted. You know, so today we're going to go over painting the 6.5 Grendel. I've weighed out some options and Dura coat and things like that. I think it's not in my best interest. For one, it's expensive, more so than um, Rust-Oleum paint. Um, I bought the paint with two cans of brake cleaner. I have $21 in it, uh, exactly. So, versus $50, $60. I'm gonna use this weapon for hunting. So, uh, it's gonna get scratched up. It's gonna get dinged up, you know, uh, get in and out of the stand. Uh, on the full wheeler. I mean, of course, you're going to try to take care of it, but that's just the reality of it. So there's a lot of things that's going to have to be done. One is uh, I'm going to have to tape off everything that I do not want painted. Um, that would be anything around the scope, my scope adjustment settings, things like that. I'm also going to have to tape off right here around the dust cover the magazine area, my rubberized hand grip, and I'm also thinking about not painting this stock. Um, to me, the paint might just come off in time on my cheek or something like that. So, um, man, if I want to change it to another weapon, I'd have to paint it all over again. So I think I'm going to leave this alone. But uh, we're going to get with it, and hopefully it'll come out all right. up this right here it's kind of the military way on the red dot and we'll see and then just make sure it'll shut make sure nothing's sticking out there and then what else do I want to take off Crystal grip. Here goes nothing. Here goes my high dollar gun. Maybe I'll mess it up. I hope not, but it's possible. I'm going to stay kind of far back.
Thank y'all for watching. This concludes the 6.5 build and paint job. So I got it painted as my first paint job on an AR. I did use Rust-Oleum and I used the, to get the cryptic look, I used uh, orange bags. You know the things oranges or tangerine comes in? I use that because I can't find burlap anywhere here in the south. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to try to uh, get some more videos out to you. I'm probably going to get one of uh, me shooting this one and I'll do the muzzle loader. So maybe we'll have it dialed in this time. And again, thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe below. And uh, go out there and get them because I know I am. It didn't turn out too bad. Not for the first one. I gotta paint the magazine still, I forgot that, but anyway. <laughs>